Hello, welcome back. I'm driving, taking my, my wife to work. Uh, saw the someone's car tag had the name, the word blessing on it or a abbreviation thereof, and I got to thinking real quick. I'm like, wow, you know, uh, they find may find their car a blessing. Uh, it may not be obvious, but they could be very well quick Christian. And I got to thinking that you know. A, a, you know what a lot of people miss have all the wrong ideas of what Christians are and what we think and believe in, etc. And, and, and that's one thing that you will happen to notice is that when you are at your worst, when you are at the worst and the lowest part in your life is when we tend to find God. It's when we tend to find Jesus. And it's because when we're at our lowest part that we realize everything we have is a blessing from your family members to your family to maybe even simply a car which you know in the past three years not always easy easily to come by even a used car is more expensive than it should be um and when what the least you have we tend to appreciate everything we do have. And as Christians, another thing you may not realize is that we believe God owns everything. No matter what we make, how much we produce, that God makes everything. And he makes everything through us. Um, and so, therefore, giving of ourselves to make these things, give our time to him, serving others, uh, give, giving money and tithing to the church is all giving back to what's already his, which is what part of our sacrifice in a way to show his love as we serve others and giving of our time, ourselves, um, our service, if you will. Is also giving to him. I wish I had. I don't have my Bible right now to be able to quote part of that verse of where that comes from out of the actual Bible. But this is very true. So even you know the the old Christmas story of the gift of the Magi. You know, one loved one having to give up something. That, that, that they really like in order to get the gift to give the other person who is also giving up something they really like to be able to get the gift to give the other person because they are having to sacrifice and give up something they like just to be able to give a gift as a show of love to their loved one. Um, uh, so, and, and, there, and there have been lots of movies like that, oddly enough. We haven't seen, don't see anything like that currently. Um, maybe in a Hallmark movie. Don't quote me on that. But the one that really comes to mind is Jim Henson's Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas, unfortunately. Uh, but before, before then, it was a very common theme, kind of a common trope, you know, having to give up something that you really, really want to get the money to get something that you are going to get. Um, which makes items and things that much more precious, that much more meaningful than just having a room full of toys just because you want it. Um, or a room full of games or a room full of comics or a room full of whatever. Uh, and once you realize and can see how selfish, selfish we are, uh, cause I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'll admit I, I've, I've had that problem too. Um, and I have I'm doing a whole lot better cause that was one thing I woke up this morning to realize that as much as I wanted a family and I have a family and I chose that, that the selfish strain of sin within me has not quite let go and I'm still letting that selfishness go in the meantime I'm wondering why my kids are so selfish so 
sometimes your kids will mirror what you are. Um, so we can't blame them because they're watching us all the time uh, and, wa and watching us closer than we think. So things to think about. I'm saying this with a heavy heart this morning. So again, count your blessings. Sometimes for some people, they have so little they can. And they're more grateful for whatever they have from food to clothes, etc., or even an automobile um, to just be able to go from point A to point B no matter how smelly, nasty, or run down the, the car is, you know. It runs for them, they put a little gas in it, and they're able to go to work and make some money so they can stay off the streets. Um, so with that, I, I want to say thank you for listening, thank you for watching. This was a quick minute with Gamers Need Christ and Grillenheimer. We'll see you next time. Be grateful for what, what you have because you never know when it's going to be gone in a heartbeat. Um, a tornado can come through or a hurricane or wherever you live or a flood or whatever natural disaster can take away everything we have in a heartbeat. Um, and what you have left is what we should be loving and that is our families, us, um, etc. And there's some people, especially some young people, that don't even love themselves. They think they do, but they love something that which that they aren't. And we are seeing a lot of that right now. And they don't know how to love themselves. And they don't know how to be grateful for what they have. Because we do live in a very spoiled in society. With that, thanks for watching. Praise be to God. We'll see you next time.